we, the Coalition for Truth and Justice, would like to address a recent call for a probe into the former governor of Kano State, Honorable Abdullahi Umar Kanduji. While we welcome this development as a step towards accountability and transparency, we strongly emphasize that selective justice is a threat to society everywhere in the world. Therefore, we urge Governor Abba Yusuf to ensure that the probe is not biased and that it extends to other relevant individuals, including Rabiu Kwankwaso, if he is truly committed to upholding justice. The Judicial Commission of Inquiry set up by the state government to investigate the immediate past administration in the state ought to start their investigation right from 1999 to 2003 and 2011 to 2015, when 70% of government properties were sold or fraudulently allocated to friends and families, and not just focusing on only 2011 to 2015. But it is unfortunate to bring to our notice that the magnanimous sharing of the state assets happened right under the nose of Abba Kabir Yusuf when he was the Commissioner for Works, Housing and Transport of Kano State. Should we infer that Mr. Governor doesn't know that he, he who lives in the glass house doesn't throw stones? We all know it is a popular knowledge that the best way to kill a weed is from its roots. Therefore, it is alarming that Governor Abba Yusuf seems to focus so much attention on killing the weed of corruption at the top with so much aggression by solely focusing on witch hunting the poor in Kano State, which is completely unacceptable. 